economy we come from and uh, what attracts a lot of people from around the world to come here through tourism and uh, to be a part of all that through the millions and millions of people that partook in 2005's blast off into the new year was, uh, it was incredible. A couple years back, I was down in Times Square for New Year's Eve. I thought it was going to be a great time, but uh, somebody else had another plan for me. I was standing there uh, for about six hours before the ball was about to drop. And right before it, the ball was going to drop, uh, the guy behind me and to my left was getting a little antsy. I guess he had too much to drink and uh, he had to start going to the bathroom. So this guy just basically um, decided to pee on my leg and um, he was relieved and he was fine but I was covered in urine and uh, about 20 minutes later the ball dropped and I couldn't wait to get out of there. So uh, I decided never again to go back down to Times Square for the, to see the ball drop just because it's too much of a headache um, to deal with the police to deal with just people in general. I went to Times Square last, um, last January, December, December 31st, and uh, it was my first time ever there, and it was quite an incredible experience. So we got there, and it, was, it wasn't too cold. We dressed warm, um, and we sat on the side about, I'd say, a good six blocks from the bog, which we thought was the perfect spot. People were just starting to get there. The police were there. Everything was blocked off got something to eat and then after that they allowed us in the street and by this point it was getting dark out and we were the only ones with a chair so we were pretty lucky it was, a, it was probably one of the smartest decisions I've ever made being that we were sitting for 10 hours straight um, it, was, it was an incredible experience and I say that because although we sat for a total of 12 hours it was just a memory that I'm never going to forget No! <laughs> 